It's a government directive that Kenyans have accepted as a new way of life, from observing social distancing, donning face masks, and of course, observing the highest levels of hygiene through sanitizing. The ideal trifecta in dealing with the world's deadliest pandemic in more than a hundred years, the coronavirus. It's early morning in the Kialo household. On a regular day, this home will normally be uninhabited. The captains of this family will around this time of the day be busy at work. Their children, on the other hand, will perhaps be prepping for the day's lessons in class. This, however, is no regular day. Homes have now become the focal point of almost everything they do. My employer uh, just said, uh, guys, uh, from this date, yeah, we are going to wait until these things clears. And now, here we are staying at home. We had to release our, our help because now we are at home. We, are, we don't need, we are not going out. We have the kids alone, so. The fact that human beings are social creatures, the coronavirus has no doubt hindered our interactions as a result of the prolonged isolation or rather mandatory confinement for some. The baby here, pia na yako na ile anataka ile attention ni baki. Mam, kama utaki tufanya, wacha niende ni cheze. Like, ufai kuenda inje, kuna corona. Kwani hii corona ndiyo nini? Pia wao ni me realize, wame kuwa scared na corona. Mtu kusikia corona, iku associated na kifo. Families, now more than ever, are battling an unforeseeable enemy. One, the target, the body and mind. We don't know how long we are going to stay once again here. So if now the stress catches up with me now, and for God forbid it takes around two, four, five months from now, mm -hmm. it will carry me away with it before the corona does. Mm -hmm. Yes. According to psychological counselors, however, as social isolation becomes a reality, families continue to battle with psychological challenges that can now even threaten their sanity. Most of us are feeling helpless, like what can I do, you know? Um, how do I get out of this? When does this come to an end? And also this brings in a lot of anxiety at an individual basis. And then this extends now to the family. Open, transparent and consistent communication has however been a secret tool that has held this family together. I like creating a lot of time with them because I'm, a, I'm busy when I'm like, I work long schedules. We usually say in counseling, it's not what happens to us that affects us, but how we think about what is happening that actually does affect us. So you need to restructure your thinking. Instead of saying I'm locked up at home, you're saying I'm actually staying home to keep safe. Instead of saying I'm locked up with my children, you can actually say this is a good time for me to bond and get to know my children. This is also a very good time to equip life skills in our children. In terms of COVID, it's the best time to teach resilience. As a family, sit down and agree. This is unfamiliar territory which means that um, you don't know what the day brings, you're not sure, um, especially with your income. I think that is causing a lot of stress to people. Apart from this psychological aspect of the effects of the coronavirus, Kenyans' behavior and body language towards the pandemic has also changed, as Wangoi Kili, a communication and image consultant, explains. I find that there's cases where domestic violence has actually gone up because you'll find that people um, abuse us in the form of parents, in the form of spouses, even in the form of siblings. So there is that. There is a lot of um, tension in that area. However, there is also an opportunity for families to also rebuild um, 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 their communication in this sense. Our humanity needs to be uh, strengthened in this when we're able to empathize, um, understand each other's language, be patient with each other because really there's nowhere we are going. We're all stuck home. So be patient, listen a little bit more than you would listen. So active listening at this point is also important. We need to go back to the basics of mental health, which is first acknowledging how you're feeling taking some time to actually acknowledge that, yes, I'm angry, yes, I'm depressed, yes, yes, I'm anxious, and then working through these emotions. Since the country announced its first positive coronavirus case, 
most Kenyans have been forced into self-isolation, in effect resulting into miscommunication, particularly amongst families. Psychologists, however, say that communication is the key to ensure that we do not lose our sanity. Shukriwachu K24, Nairobi.